all of these flags that are flying on this boat, they all mean something different. The Not at Work is a local boat, and the guys coming in are saying that they have some fish. Uh, you know, it looks like you'd have wahoo and a, and a, uh, a mahi mahi or a dolphin. They've got all kinds of stuff flying. I think more than anything, it means that they're probably about half in the bag. They've got an amberjack. I just saw a big jack come out. I see a couple of uh, little dolphin. There's a little uh, bonita. So they have some nice fish. And uh, I like this boat. The ladies work. They're not just eye candy here or any other type of deterrent. They're working hard on the boat. It's very fun to watch. And uh, I can tell this captain here, the guy with the shades on, standing up, he came to work. They, they're working hard. Well, let me, let me ask you this. If you were to win, let's say you, say this Amberjack were to actually win tipped, will you be satisfied with that given that you couldn't beat the current leader of 0.8 pounds on the Jack Gravel? That would make me nervous. I was gonna, is that a substitute? <laughs> I mean, if you win the Amberjack, you know, to not win the Jack Gravel for kind of like the, the Texas two-step, would that... Would that let you down? It would kind of bother me a little bit that we couldn't find a jack. Tell me this, I've watched your boat for two days. You guys have docked more fish than anybody. You've got all the flags flying, which means there's either a Bloody Mary or a margarita machine on the boat. I know that. But fantastic volume of fish you guys have caught. And I know it's your boat. So tell me, tell me about, about your strategy and what you guys did. We go out there to have fun. So we, you know, I can't compete with some of these guys with uh, on the big bill fish. So I, this is my ladies kingfish. My, my grandson was with me today. My son was with me today. So I take them out there to catch fish. So you had three, two or three generations on the boat. I saw the young women. You yeah. got the younger women with you. Uh, well, the, young, the women are friends of mine who are um, uh, lady kingfish. They'll, they'll be fishing with me next week. Well, and, fantastic. And, and the two boys aboard are my son and my grandson. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thanks. Appreciate your time. Okay. Hey, buddy. Nick Hollenbeck. And where do you live? Massachusetts. 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 I can't even hardly say it. Can you say Texas? Yep, so Texas. you're smarter than us. Tell me this. Right now, you've got the current, you've got the biggest kingfish on the board. Yep. How does that feel? Awesome. Now, how big a fish was it? Tell us about it. Um, it was bigger than me, and... It took about 10 minutes to reel in. Now, did you catch it out behind one of the shrimp boats? Nope. Where'd you catch it? We were trolling it out um, by the K-buoy. Awesome, so he, he hit and you got on him? Yep. And, and how long did it take to bring him in? 10 minutes. That's awesome, well congratulations. Say hi to your friends at home. Hi. And uh, uh, we're proud of you, good job. Thanks. Well, hi, we're here now with Robin Ferris and Robin is the dock queen of the TIFF tournament. She and her family have been a part of this tournament for a long time. And I was gonna grab Robin and ask her, before things get too hectic, let's talk for a minute. But the reality is it's been hectic for Robin for months getting ready for this, as she kind of does all the behind the scenes work uh, and coordinates what goes on here at Tift. So Robin, tell me what, tell me just a little bit about what goes on on, on your end of the tournament. Well, I am in charge at the dock and I am work from the time we start planning this tournament we start talking about all the things that we've got to do the new equipment that we need and then the week of the tournament that's my week of being here non-stop and um, I've met rental world here at 8 in the morning I uh, met with the porta potty people and the, I very, mean, important. very important very, very important. important we want those things up and running especially you know uh, all of us women we want those air conditioned absolutely porta -potties. Well, I just looked around, how many volunteers do you have here? I look at all these green or yellow shirts, and I know that's your crew. How many folks are volunteered for this tournament? You know, the whole entire tournament, we, we have hundreds of volunteers because we have volunteers at registration, we have volunteers at play day. But for my volunteers, all of these young kids, I'd probably say we've got 50 or 60 all together total with the firemen that take the fish after right. the, from the anglers to the high school kids and the college kids that are going to be lifting the fish and and making sure it's all organized and and uh, so I'd say 50 or 60 each day and sometimes we, we when the when the TV and the internet comes up they say oh I want to be a part of that so the next day we end up with usually even more than that well it's a huge event I know this is the 72nd annual and since you're only 28 years old there's no way I know. I but how, here. how long have you been involved you know what, I figured it out one time um, last year. I think this is my 19th year at being on the executive board. Um, I, I, I've been through hurricanes and through winds and no winds, and but this has been a great day. This is a great fishing day. Uh, it's not too 
hot. I mean, it's hot, but it's not too hot. Right. Those anglers, I think, are going to have a good time out there. It's only like 95 degrees today. It's practically a cold front. I know. But I saw Holly Ann. Robin has a daughter, Holly Ann, that uh, is a former TIFT hostess. So volunteering is in the family. It's what they've done down here for years. And uh, thank you for your time. Thank and I hope you, you have a wonderful us. tournament. We will. You bet. Thanks. I hope we have some big fish here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Austin. Austin what? Pinkerton. Where are you from? South Padre Island. How long have you been doing TIFT? About 10 years. How long have you been working here? Two years. Good job. Look, let's get him on this side of the camera for a minute. This is Travis, Travis the camera guru and editing savant. He's like the rain man of editing. Like people tune in just to see, he counts cards, he, he's good at parties, he's an excellent driver. He's very, very good at editing. We like Travis. Travis is a, the best dollar and 75 cent an hour working for tips cameraman in the business, no doubt about it. I'm thinking Emmy. Looks like a Tide commercial. Right? It's a nice fish. It's a bad shirt. <laughs> 